This is Robert Stewart with Hill13.com. Now we're going to look at the game board and talk about how to be effective in taking out the opposing force's captain while he's tied to a 20-foot tether. Here we've represented in a very simple manner uh, a line connecting one red player and one green player to their base. Now, <clears throat> there's a couple of different ways you could play this. You can play very defensively and wait for attrition to do the work for you. And by that I mean you can play a very defensive game where, you, where your other players basically form a protective barrier around your captain and you wait for the other team to come to you. Within that 30-minute period, if this team never shows up, then the game might end up being a draw. So that's a defensive way to play it. The ultra-offensive, aggressive way to play it, and again, we have three players represented on each side, but it could be three, six, ten, or as many players as you have that where you can have even teams, is to bum-rush the other side, to go straight in and go straight for the captain. Now, to do that, it goes back to another game we talked about, Charge of the Light Brigade. Again, if you move your entire force out and leave the captain to defend himself, especially if he's tied, if he's tied to it, he's there alone, and if they do the same thing, he could be put in the same position that you're about to put the captain of the green team into by moving all of your forces over to take him out. In that case, it's going to come down to raw speed and aggression, probably determining who eliminates whose captain first. But that's usually the way the game is played, and the more players you have, the more you can begin to split those two tasks. You can actually maintain a defensive perimeter around your captain and take a force in to eliminate the opposing force's captain.